it's Isabel. So today's video was inspired by my own life. We really only have three months left of 2018. I was revisiting my resolutions for 2018 and let's just say that 2018 just didn't really pan out the way I was expecting it to. I feel like 2018 was going to be a really breakthrough year and I feel like instead of breaking through on the positives there have been a little bit more negatives although there have been wonderful positives I feel like 2018 was kind of like a year of dis rediscovery for myself but I still have big plans and big goals and big dreams and I've noticed that when I was more positive during my difficult times obviously things panned out a lot better and went a lot smoother. So even though this has been a difficult year, it's not over and we can still turn this year around and make it the best year ever. Even if it didn't go off to the best start, even if the first half was awful, there's still time and there's still ways to get back in alignment and crush your goals for the year before 2019. You don't have to wait until 2019 to get restarted on your goals or revisit your goals or start new ones. You don't have to wait till January 1st to get in shape. You don't have to wait until we have a calendar new beginning to start your own. You can have new beginnings at any point in your life, at any age, at any moment, in any grade, in any career, you can have a new start. It's all about the mindset, ladies and gents. We can do whatever we set our minds to and a lot of times we get in our own way of our success. Honestly guys, I am I'm just ready. I'm deciding right now from this video to change my life. And I actually decided a couple days from when you're watching this video to change my life. I take everything as a sign from the universe and if things get hard or life gets tough, it's the universe telling me that I need to start something new and I need to go on a new path. I feel like this year is gonna end on a super high note and it's gonna be wonderful. So I compiled a list of five things that I'm going to do and I usually don't share what I, like my goals and things like that, but I'm going to be more candid and open with you guys with what I am committing to right now. The year isn't over, there's still time, you're still breathing, you're still alive, so there's always time for change and growth. My first goal is to focus on doing my best at every moment. What inspired me to start living in the moment and doing my best at any given moment, even in the bad times, just focusing on doing my best is the book, The Four Agreements, which I have talked about so many times. This is by Don Miguel Ruiz. I will link it down below. The four agreements, I'm not going to spoil them for you if you haven't read it. The very last agreement, and I think is the most important one, is do your best always. And in the book, he talks about how doing your best changes at any given moment. When you do your best, you feel better about yourself in any given situation. And you don't look back at things with regret because you think, at least I did my best. I put forth my best effort. That's enough for me. I have really been focusing on doing my best at any moment. And he says, don't be hard on yourself because your best is going to change and differ depending on who you're with, what time of the day it is. When you first wake up in the morning is going to be so different than your best when you're really tired at night or your best after you get a workout done is going to be so different than if you've been binging on coffee and sweets all day. It puts things in perspective for you and understand that you don't have to strive for perfection in every moment, every second of your life, but strive to do your best and that is always better than not trying at all. If you tell yourself, I'm going to do my best and you do your best, you feel just so much better about yourself and you also put the best energy out there so the outcome will always be better when you do your best. Having this agreement at the forefront of my mind has really helped me just to stop and think when something happens, something bad or good, it just has me stop and think and actually analyze the situation first before jumping the gun or diving in head first and doing something. It really has helped me make better decisions in my life overall. So instead of like procrastinating or half-assing something, if I intentionally go in and do my best, I will get the best outcome that I can at that moment. Which leads me on to my second goal or tip, less intention and more action. Intention over action always. I'm huge on setting intentions and one thing I have noticed that I have lagged on this year is 
taking more action. So I will have an intention, I'll have good energy, but I won't take action with that intention. So intention without action is inaction, it's nothing. So what I'm gonna start doing is acting on my ideas after writing them down. So I have a million ideas. I always have ideas running through my head. I write them down and I'm like, hmm, I'll revisit them at a later date when I have more this or I have more time or I have more this or whatever. Instead of waiting for the universe to line things up for me magically, I will start setting the intention and taking the action towards manifesting certain things that I want. Right when I get an idea, I'll write it down and then I'll start devising a plan or just researching or taking steps towards making that idea a reality. Because if you haven't read the book, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert, even if you're not like in a creative field, you don't have to be a writer or a YouTuber or an artist or anybody like that to like this book. This book is wonderful. It puts things in so much perspective. And one thing that really resonated with me in this book is the whole idea that ideas actually float from people to people. The idea is like a living thing. It's like an energy. It comes into your mind because it believes that you are the most capable in that moment to bring in the idea to life. But if you have an idea, you get an idea and you don't do anything with it, the idea will move along and go to somebody else. And that's what I really love about this book because it really inspired me to start taking more action towards the ideas that I have. Instead of just letting them be dreams or goals or ideas, they become reality by putting action towards them and actually working towards them. And she talks about how she had this amazing idea for a book and then she wrote it up and then she let it go. She stopped writing it for whatever reason in her personal life. And then one of her writer friends actually wrote the same book, had the same idea for a book. That happens to a lot of us. You know whenever we see something get invented and we're like, wait, I had that idea for that years ago. Or I have a friend who's like, I had the idea for Instagram years ago. And then Instagram came along. <laughs> that idea travels from people to people. You might not think it, but you need to read this book, Big Magic. It really inspires you to just get creative, get your hands dirty, work on your passion, I love it so much. It's it's really a good book. If you set intentions at 2018 and they haven't come into fruition, you're probably the only thing standing in your way at making those things a reality. And that's something that I have been super hard on myself about. I've said, you know, Isabel, you've had all these intentions, these goals, these ideas, and you haven't brought them into fruition. Action is very magical. With action, things come to be. Of course, setting intention, good energy is always helpful. We do need good intentions in order to make our actions good but you also need to double down on the action. Two parts action and one part intention, just know that. My third goal to turning around this year, make fitness and health and diet a priority. You guys know I'm vegan and as vegans, there's a lot of vegan junk out there. There's a lot of unhealthy food, processed vegan food and that was something that over the summer was just kind of like difficult for me. had a lot of highs and lows and my diet, my exercise took a back seat and it really messed with me because I'm a person who loves being physically active. I'm a person who loves being outside. I'm a person who needs to be healthy and doing exercise in order to feel good, but I wasn't doing too well mentally. I didn't make my health and fitness a priority. So right now in my 20s and there's an amazing TED talk guys and it has a very daunting kind of, it kind of gave me anxiety. The title of the TED talk gave me anxiety, but if you actually listen to the the message she says it's so empowering and uplifting and motivating it's like this is actually this TED talk is what really is inspired me. Right now in my 20s, this is my prime time. This is the time for me to get things going. This is the time for me to make my dreams a reality. And even though I'm 24 already and next year I'm going to be 25, I see this as my time to really, really get the ball rolling. I'm still young. I still have ideas. I still have energy and I'm going to do the best thing I can do. Please watch that TED talk if you're in your 20s. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be 18, you can be 30, whatever. Watch that TED talk. It will get you up quickly. So I'm going to be focusing more on clean eating, obviously, exercising every single day if I have time. I'm going to start dedicating myself, if I can't get to the gym, of just doing my workouts here at home and really setting the intention to get my dream body and get my six pack. And I'm not waiting until the new year to get started. I know a lot of people are like, hmm, I'll wait until October 1st or January 1st or whatever to get started. I'll start the diet on Monday. No, I'm starting now. I started 
few days ago to really watch what I eat. I'm doing intermittent fasting now and it's really a game changer. I've also implemented apple cider vinegar drinks every morning and that's really helped with my bloating and just giving me more energy. I'm eating less processed sugar and eating more fresh fruits and veggies, which has always been really good to my body. And you don't have to wait till the new year to get started either on your fitness goals. You can start right now today. Focus more on intuitive eating instead of following like a strict regimen. Choose always the healthiest option at the restaurant or in your cafeteria. You might not have a ton of options, but choosing the healthiest option at that moment, going back to doing your best, is always going to give you better results than if you didn't try at all. Documenting my journey, I might make more videos pertaining to health and fitness because I know a lot of you guys ask me about my fitness goals and things like that. So, and my fitness routine and how I eat. I will be doing more what I eat in the day videos if you guys want and just any fitness or my fitness routine videos because I'm really settling into a routine that I love. My next goal, and this one is not one that I wrote down for this video, but I just thought of it and I think it's really important. Stop settling. And I posted about this on my Instagram a few days ago about I'm not settling anymore. I'm not settling, I'm not settling. I am only going after what I want and I'm only accepting what I want in my life. I'm being more focused on what I want and not accepting any less from myself and from other people. In relationships, the people you date, the people you surround yourself with. Of course, being grateful for everything is so important and grateful for people's efforts and intentions, but also if you have a goal and you've always had this ideal, don't lower your standards. Don't bring yourself down for anyone. Don't sacrifice yourself for anyone else. And that's something that I have struggled with is I have wanted to help people and in helping others, I have brought myself down too. It's kind of like when people are sinking. If you're on a boat, if you're on a yacht, you can reach down and grab that person and pull them up. But if you're also out in the middle of the ocean and the other person's drowning, how are you gonna save that other person if you don't have your own boat to carry them on? I can't save anyone else or help anyone else until I have my boat, my life raft. Put together to save myself first. That's something else that I really want to work on. Doing what's right for me and putting myself first before anyone else. And I wouldn't ever say I'm a people pleaser at all, but to people that I actually love, it's really easy for me to sacrifice myself for them. I'm not necessarily to become like a cold hearted bitch or anything, but looking out for myself a little bit more and not settling. My next plan of action is to work on my subconscious limiting beliefs. So I've noticed lately that I have had subconscious limiting beliefs myself, my finances, my career in general. And I've had them for years and lately I've worked on them more, but I find them kind of creeping back a little bit. And that's what happens with subconscious limiting beliefs sometimes is they will come back and they are something you have to actively work on. I have this beautiful new, like it's like a composition book, but it's like a really like bendy one. My sister got it for me. There's no perfect way to use this than right now. So I already wrote down some subconscious limiting beliefs that I have on the first sheet of paper. And I sat with them, I marinated on them and today I'm to go back and rewrite my story and rewrite those beliefs and that way I can work on them these next few months so that when 2019 rolls around I'll be ready for my plan of action. Or even before 2018 rolls around, we could already have a plan of action. Every time a subconscious limiting belief comes up, it could be about anything, I'm gonna write it out and I'm gonna rewrite it and really focus in on that because I feel like I got so good at them and then when that stuff started happening in my life, it kind of slowed me down, slowed down my rhythm and I started kind of listening to my subconscious limiting beliefs, they kind of came back. So that told me I need to really go back and focus in on them, tackle them head on so that that they won't keep coming back. And finally, revisiting goals. In a way, my goals have been so big that they scared me. And I think, how am I going to make this happen? How is this going to be a reality? I keep thinking of the scariness of it instead of focusing in, again, back to the action aspect. I need to take more action on them, believing in them and focusing on them head on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This year I focused more on the negatives in my life instead of focusing on the positives. And obviously it's going to be a struggle always, but whenever stuff hit the fan last month, I really realized that I was making this error and I was able to be self-aware and judge myself and say, you're being way too negative and that's not good for you. I can be my, my worst critic, obviously, but I'm going to revisit my goals with a mindset of this is already here, it's already mine. All the things I wanna manifest already exist in the world and all I have to do is raise my vibration to the point where I meet that. So it's not a matter of if, but 
when. I am writing them down and being super specific. Here's my special, this is, I have a bunch of journals like this. They're mostly for work or my videos, my podcasts and all this stuff. But this one is like my personal one where I write in my goals. I read books and then I write down all the things that resonate with me with these books. So I study books more than anything. I kind of, when I read books, I don't read them like cover to cover, sitting down like that. No, I actually get down and I get a journal and I highlight and I annotate and I write stuff. I don't do it in the book, but I do it on a separate piece of paper. This is my promise to myself. And I have three big goals that I'm going to do this year before the year is over. Should I read them to you? No, let's keep it a surprise. Turn this year around and get the ball rolling and really put my best foot forward so that when 2019 rolls around, my 25th year on earth, I'll be ready for it. Working harder really pays off and putting positive intention really, really pays off. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to just go forward and just do the things you've been putting on a back burner, the things that you're holding off until next year. Just do them now. Be your best self right now. Do the best you can be. We're in this together. We can work on this together. If you feel like you don't have motivation, just come to me. I'll help motivate you. I want to motivate you. We can get better together. I just love this community because I feel like we're all together. We're all in our own separate paths, but very similar to each other. We're all in alignment with each other, which is why you're watching this video. We're on the same vibration, which is why you're here. Or I'm trying to get on your vibration. Maybe I need your positive vibes. So be sure to send me some positive vibes through this video because I'm sending you mine. So we can get things done this year and really commit to ourselves more than anything else. Commit to ourselves, commit to our success, commit to our happiness, to our well-being, to our health. And that way we will beget a brighter, happier future no matter what you have left behind, no matter what has happened. The beginning of this year, in the summer, whenever. You have the power right now and the control in your hands to get things done and to make your dreams a reality. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a pleasure. I felt super inspired and now the sun is like hiding from us. So that is our cue to end this video. If you guys want to see more content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Snapchat. The links are always down below. Also, I have a podcast. A new episode goes live every Monday. I love you guys so very much. And always remember, no matter what you may be going through, no matter what you may look like, no matter who you are in this life, your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.